。好，三十四、三十五咧，我哋都要用翻呢一幅圖嘅，佢就描述緊咧一個能量嘅流向啊。嗱，佢冇講過呢一幅圖係一個 foot web 啊嚇，咁總之就係能量流向。咁第三十四條咧就問翻我哋啦，下面邊一句説話咧係描述正確嘅？咁啊，其實當我哋睇呢幅圖咧，第一樣要解決嘅就係究竟佢個起點喺邊度？因為個起點咧，正正就係 Autotroph， 就係個 producer 嚟。咁其實所有戰嘴嘅起源咧，就係 S 嚟嘅。所以 S 咧，佢並不是一個 Heterotroph， 佢應該係一個 Autotroph。所以第一句咧就已經錯咗啦。跟住到第二咯 ，P 咧係一個 secondary consumer。咁我哋即管睇下咧，佢係唔係咯？由 producer 去到 primary consumer。再去到 P 咧，就係、是、一個 secondary consumer， 咁所以佢真係 secondary consumer 啦。第三句咧就話 Q 咧有最大嘅 total bio mass， 咁呢個咧就要考埋剩低兩個 concept 啦。喺個食物鏈嗰處咧，由一層嘅食性層次去到另一層嘅食性層次咧，之間係有九成嘅能量流失。而去到第三個 concept 咧，就係、是、其實所有嘅 energy flow 咧都會去到 Q 嗰處嘅。你會發現啦，由 S 去 Q 啦。由 S 去 T 又去 Q 啦，由 S T 去 P 去 Q 啦，甚至乎 S 去 R 去 Q， 全部都指返向佢個 Q 嗰樹啊！哇，咁巴閉嘅呢隻嘢，咁所以呢，其實呢，咁多條 f o o t c h a i n k e e p 住全能量俾佢都好，都一定有能量嘅流失㗎嘛。所以啦，佢既然作為最 top 嗰隻咁樣嘅 consumer 呢，其實佢應該獲得嘅能量已經好少好少，所以佢唔應該有最多嘅爆 m a s k 嘅，所以答案呢，就只有 boy 啦。Questions 34 and 5 refer to the diagram which show the flow of the energy among the organism found in the grassland. They show which of the following statements correctly describe the organism. So for statement 1, S is the heterotroph. So when doing this question, the first idea we need to check is the starting point of the whole diagram. Because the starting point, which is the producer, the producer, they are the autotroph. According to the diagram, we can see that the origin of all arrows, it is the organism S. So that's why organism S, which is the producer, and it should be the autotroph. So that's why number one statement is wrong. And for the second statement, organism P is the secondary consumer. So let's see. For S, it is the producer. And for T, it is the primary consumer. And P fitting on the T. So that's why it is the secondary consumer. It is correct. And for statement three, Q has the largest total biomass. So it's checking for the last two concepts. Energy loss along the food chain. 90% energy loss from one trophic level to another trophic level. So it means that if the organism at a higher trophic level, they should get less and less energy. And then we can see that all the energy flow, it will end at Q finally. S to Q, S T and then to Q, S T to P and then to Q, S to R and then to Q. So we can see that organism Q, it should have a higher trophic level than the other organism. So the energy it can obtain should be the less. So that's why they should not have the largest total biomass. And that's why the answer is B.